Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Seattle Stitcher. My name is Megan. You can find me on Instagram as Megan underscore Babauta underscore on Ravelry as Mama Made VM. And you can email me at the Seattle Stitcher at gmail.com. All of those social media links will be down below. So if you are looking for more frequent updates about me and my life and what's going on, please do give me a follow, especially on Instagram. I post my stories a lot more than I post to my actual Instagram itself, but <laughs> it's just because life's been crazy and busy and you know, sometimes posting to your Instagram story is just a lot easier. So um, a few things right off the bat, if this is a returning view for you, then you might notice my bookshelves are a little bit different. So I have a dehumidifier that's been installed in my living room and I film in my living room. Unfortunately, that means that it's this huge white box right behind me. Um, there's probably background noise because of it. It runs pretty much 24, 24 seven. I haven't uh, heard it shut off once since it got installed. And it's just because I live in Washington. The level that I live on is mostly a slab build and that means that the moisture level can be really, pretty high and this is the solution. So <laughs> I'm so sorry, I wish I could turn it off, I can't. I don't have any control over it, um, but I did wanna put out a video. In the future, I'm gonna try to move my books into a different room and I can film in a different location. But right now, since I am due to have my scheduled C-section next week for my son, I just don't have the energy to move all of these books and, <laughs> and the bookshelves as well. So. It'll probably be a different location um, next time I film, which I don't know when that will be. So I'm going to hop right in, start with my my uh, whips, and I will get to life stuff at the very end. So if you're interested, stick around. If not, um, as I say, you were all very, very welcome here. Just bear with me on the noise, I suppose. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I don't have any new starts. I've been really good about that. I have stuck to my one quarterly start and my one quarterly start this year was a restart of the vanity sampler. I think I started that maybe in my last video or the one before, but that was my first quarter start. I wanted to get it started before my son was born and I did get some, some more progress on that. Not very much, but unfortunately I don't have before and after photos this time around just because I'm very pregnant and very forgetful. <laughs> So um, I do have it though here. I'm doing the Vanity Sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews with Can the Stitcher's color conversion. This is her color conversion. It's just a beautiful moody selection of colors. I absolutely love it. I think it's stunning. Love everything about it. I'm stitching this on a 36 count color and cotton in the colorway spiced honey and I'm doing two over two on mine but here is my progress uh, I think what I've done since last time is I finished this tree added this little guy here added this motif um, maybe completed some more in here and then I did start the words I know that for sure so it's a really good right there is like a good representation of the color love this color the spiced honey is beautiful I feel like it's a really good sampler color because everything pops on it you know unless you have a bunch of like beigey tans I feel like everything would pop on this so it looks really good I'm absolutely loving it needle minder on this one is from Mad Reminders if you're interested but yeah I'm stitching it two over two on the 36 count it is one of my very few projects that I have stitched two over two I don't know why I just I really was in the mood for stitching two over two and since I don't really have anything set up like that when I restarted this I decided to just go for it and I absolutely love it yeah, I think it looks great. The stitches really pop. They don't look, you know, too crowded or, or messy or anything like that. Because sometimes, like, you know, stitching on 36 count, sometimes you can do two over two. Sometimes it's way too tight. But this is perfect. I absolutely love it. So, yeah, I'm probably going to put this one away for a while. I will say, though, I did stitch on this partially for Pink February. Um, Pink February was, like, the brainchild of Bridge in the Museum <laughs> Stitcher and then Cam the Stitcher came up with this amazing graphic that we've been using over on Instagram just kind of posting to our stories and some of us posting to our feeds and stuff just kind of stitching on pink stuff in February and as you can see the only pink that I stitched on was this little tiny part here <laughs> but it still counts it's still part of my pink February and I'm absolutely loving it it's such a beautiful piece so yeah shout out to Cam for um the amazing color conversion on this one it really really spoke to me and I'm happy to have it restarted I try to pull it out whenever my girlfriends are working on theirs because Cam the Stitcher and Bridge in the Museum Stitcher they have like monthly goals with their pieces so that they can get them finished by the end of 2024 
I'm definitely not gonna be able to do that with a new baby, <laughs> but I do like to pull it out um, just so I can, you know, get some stitches in with the girls. Uh, next project I have, which I'm almost done with my portion on, is actually my round robin. So I'm doing a round robin with some girls that I just absolutely adore. I will put a down below in the comments, it'll say round robin and then it'll have links to every single one of their channels. Maddie is the only one who doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she does have an Instagram. So I will go ahead and link that. But right now I'm working on Bridgen's project. So let me get out her cute little tiger lily <laughs> project card. And this is Quaker Gardens by Hello from Liz Matthews. She is stitching hers on 36 count Bramble by Picture This Plus. And she is stitching it one over two with color and cotton patchwork. Um, the patchwork floss is absolutely stunning. So I guess we should start there. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's so pretty. Again, I'm so sorry about the background noise. I have the washer, I have the washing machine going as well, but I really wanted to put out a video because it's been a while and I'm getting a lot of messages <laughs> just about how I'm doing and everything. So I wanted to film um, at least something before my son is here. So my portion was this little flower here. So I do have it all completed. I finished completing these. And then I have one more little motif here and then I just have the initials down here and I will be sending this off. So I definitely wanna get it sent in the mail before the end of February, um, so next week. So I am officially on maternity leave now <laughs> and so I definitely will get this finished actually today and probably ship it out tomorrow. If I can ship it out today, I will, but since I wanted to film, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it finished just because the initials are one over one and I like to really focus and make sure that those stitches look nice. But yeah, it's going great. It's a beautiful project. Her piece is absolutely stunning. Sorry, I didn't take it out of the hoop, but you can see how far along we are. And everyone's initials, you know, it's just so fun. I absolutely love it. So beautiful project, really enjoying this. And it's just been a fun, fun little thing to do with the girls. Um, and we're all enjoying it. The next project I worked on was kind of like a fail for my Pink February. I really wanted to just focus on Pink February, right, and stitch on Pink stuff, but this project just, it kept on calling my name and I, I kept on picking it back up. <laughs> this is um, the 2022 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along, and I am stitching mine with Cream and Sugar, which is a fiber and a whim fabric in a 36 count, I wanna say, let me double check. Yeah, and I'm stitching it one over two on that 36 count with the colorway cloves from Color and Cotton. Absolutely stunning. This color, if you like these warm, mustardy, yellow, rusty colors, go pick up some cloves. This is just beautiful. I think it's going to look amazing. It's going to be a beautiful piece. And every time I pull it out, I just try to finish at least one to two motifs. So. I pulled it back out and I don't know where I left off last time I talked to you guys. I know I've expanded the border for sure. Um, I did get both of these little cherub dudes <laughs> stitched up. The crown here, the flower here, this little motif with the two birds, I definitely got that added in. And I think I might have actually done all of this stitching since last I saw you guys as well. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> but I have gotten a good amount of stitching done on this one. It's just one of those projects that I can't put down. Um, I really wanna start my, my last name, <laughs> so I'm like really excited about it. This is about the middle point of the pattern, so I'm feeling good. I think I'm at 12% on this. I just love it, it's so pretty. Um, it's just gonna be beautiful hanging up on my wall, so I cannot wait to have that one finished. The next project I worked on is the misspelled sampler this is a reproduction sampler that hemlock and rye put out you can buy the pattern on their gum road that is kansas city girl in a colorado world her storefront and so i don't i don't have a before picture on this one either <laughs> of course i'm stitching it with all the call for colors i think i only had to do one substitute because my lns didn't have it which i think was the deepest brown shade I wanna say I had to switch it out for German chocolate. And then there was one other one. I think I had to switch out one of the deeper reds for um, this cranberry color, but I just color matched um, as best as I could. And this was part of my pink February stitching, of course. Look at all those beautiful pinks. 
absolutely stunning. I love them. And I'm switching this on a 40 count chalice by Picture This Plus and I love this combo. It just looks so good. All the colors are just really fun and funky on the fabric. It's like a really golden yellow. You can see especially here how deep gold it is, but I love it. I think I really focused mostly on, I know I got this little guy stitched up here, and then I think I focused mostly on this, the house itself, because that was like a lot of my red pink stitching. And then I do think I did go down and stitch some of the quote as well, a little bit more of it at least. So yeah, a little bit of progress. As you can see, I really haven't been stitching very much. Um, I'm just really tired and I find that because I stitch mostly on linens in a pretty high count, that I'm just too tired to focus on it by the end of my day. Um, Cause up until literally present, President's Day, I have been working. <laughs> so I work on top of all my baby appointments for myself and then I'll also my daughter and my husband and all that. So I've just been really tired and it made it to where I ended up getting too busy to really sit down and focus on stitching any at any point this month. But um, yeah, I guess from there I'm gonna transition into just talking about personal life stuff and then I will show you my knitting at the very, very end just cause I don't have all that much knitting, but I do have a little bit. So um, first of all, I wanna say thank you all so, so much for just, you know, the messages and the kindness that you guys continue to spread over me and my family. I really do appreciate it. I also hope that you guys can understand that I, I can't get back to every single message at this point. Um, I, <laughs> I'm literally gonna have the, my son next week um, I do have a scheduled C-section, so no matter what, he'll be here next week. I will announce his birth on Instagram, so if you are interested and you wanted to follow along, definitely check out my Instagram. Like I said, next week, <laughs> he'll be here, but I am not giving any more personal information about him until, you know, until I'm comfortable and ready for that. Um, but I do appreciate you guys reaching out to me and just, you know, asking how I'm doing. But when it comes to like people asking me like what my doctors are saying and this and that, um, it's just not not information that I'm willing to share. And I hope you can understand that because um, it's a lot to, to go through <laughs> and it's a lot to put out into the world and kind of constantly rehash every time I open up Instagram because I have a bunch of messages um, asking about the baby's health and everything. Um, I stay really positive about it. I'm staying really hopeful about it. I'm continuing to pray and hope for the best for myself and my son and my family. And that's the most that I can do. Um, like I said, I will announce his birth on Instagram. So if you are interested, please do follow me on Instagram. That is the best place. <laughs> I probably won't post to my Facebook page. I'm really bad about that. Um, but you know, I'm just, I've just been, um, relaxing as much as I can, which is not very often because we have been so busy. <laughs> we like beginning of February, first weekend of February, we ended up having family that came in, um, from my husband's side. And so we had a little kind of makeshift early birthday party for my daughter, just cause her birthday party, her birthday is March 1st. And my son's birthday is gonna be so close to hers that I knew that I would be in the hospital. And so we kind of had like a makeshift family birthday party for his family. And then we also had like a sort of makeshift small baby shower with um, my mother-in-law and um, you know, my husband's grandma and some aunties and stuff. And that was amazing and such a blessing because we definitely, um, I wanted to stock up more on diapers and they bought us a bunch of diapers. So I'm super, super thankful. <laughs> and then from there, the following weekend was Amira's birthday party weekend because again, we wanted to celebrate early. So we rented out a room at a bouncy house place <laughs> and um, just a really small bouncy house place because I, I didn't want parents to feel like worried about their kid getting lost or something. Um, but it was super fun. She had a blast. We did an Encanto themed birthday party. So I bought her like a little personalized shirt that says Amira and it has like the Disney face on it and it has um, the Encanto characters in it. I'll, I'll put a picture of her wearing it on the screen, but um, no, no photos from her birthday party just because the other kids in the pictures I, I don't like sharing other other people's children's um, faces. So I'll just post the pictures of my daughter. <laughs> but it was so much fun. She had a blast. And then last weekend, she had a birthday party for one of her friends at school. So there was that. <laughs> and so we've just been staying extremely busy. It's like every weekend that I, I think, oh, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna film and I'm, it's gonna be great and it'll be a really short video because I don't have very much stitching. I, I then end up being too busy. So I'm really sorry, guys. I meant to film sooner, but 
life just kind of got away from me. Um, as you, most of you are mothers, <laughs> you would know, or at least you know of a mother who's um, been this far along in a pregnancy. I am going to the doctor every single week, of course, and so that is a lot. Um, I did end up having to go to labor and delivery Monday or Tuesday, Monday, um, because of some really, really bad, intense pain that I was experiencing. Um, they did prescribe me some medications, so that's great. And luckily, you know, I'm almost done. So it's a, it's a blessing because I'm not going to have to deal with being in this excruciating pain for that much longer. <laughs> and so that's nice. Um, but I'm trying to think of what else has happened. Yeah. I started my maternity leave. So that's been great. Um, today's my first day officially of actually being on maternity leave. I dropped my daughter off at school and everything. And yeah, she's just, she's really excited to have her brother here. Uh, my husband and I are obviously very excited as well. We're just trying to make plans and make sure that, you know, we've got everything ready. And in case I go into labor early, this is our plan. And you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> so it's just been a uh, busy. It's been really busy. So like I said, I am really, really sorry if you have reached out to me and you've asked me how I'm doing and I haven't responded. It's just that I, I am so tired. And by the time that I like check all the messages that I have, I end up just not being able to get back to all of them. I really meant to sit down and film a film so that I could actually, you know, let you all know I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm still over here, super pregnant. <laughs> and, um, you know, just counting my blessings, I suppose, but it's been a good time. It went by super fast. Um, I want to say a special thank you as well to anyone who has sent me a registry gift. I really do appreciate you guys. That is so, so kind of you. Um, I know like I was filming separate portions at the end of my videos for a while there, just all of the amazing gifts that you guys have sent over. And then recently Sarah, um, from Sarah's Stitchy Spot sent me these beautiful onesies that, um, were like tie dyed and they're absolutely amazing. I got another from another Sarah. I got a present yesterday in the mail from her, for my daughter, for her birthday. And then a sweet little like pacifier holder and then um, there is a knitting podcast that I absolutely love <laughs> and she sent me an amazing package all the way from Norway and um, I just I just can't believe the kindness I'm gonna post a picture it's so cute she knit these little sweaters for my son you know I'm a knitter and I have never in my life had anyone knit me anything <laughs> so this literally was just blew my mind amazing um, thank you so so much She's just, um, she's amazing. Most of her videos are in Norwegian, but you can turn on the English captions. So if you're interested in watching, um, cause I still, sometimes I'll just play videos even if they, if they aren't in English, I just play them in the background. Cause sometimes it's more of a visual thing for me. Like I want to just see, uh, it feels like I'm sitting with a friend, you know, <laughs> or I want to see what they're, they're working on and it, people hold things up. So it's more of a visual thing, but, um, yeah, I've just been really thankful and, really, really tired. I'm very happy to be on maternity leave. Um, I wasn't expecting to go on leave so early, but I mean, I am only a week away from my due date. So I guess it's not really that early. <laughs> I feel, I feel, um, I mean, I feel as good as you can in the situation we're in and all that, you know, so I'm just tired. <laughs> I just, I can't apologize enough for not getting back to all of you guys in your messages, but um, yeah, I guess it's just uh, hard to rehash like the medical stuff about the baby and I, I don't constantly want to rehash it every single evening after I already have a long day. So um, my apologies if I don't get back to you, but just know I am staying positive. I am okay and that our son will be here next week and you guys will see pictures of him and <laughs> you will, I'll, I'll announce his name and everything like that, of course, as well. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it as far as I can think for life stuff, honestly. I'm trying to think of any other questions that people have been messaging me, but I feel like most of it has just been like, you know, asking how I'm doing and, and what my doctors are saying and stuff. But um, yeah, I just share what I'm most comfortable with and what I can mentally handle sharing, I suppose, what I have the mental capacity to share. So um, I'll continue doing that because I enjoy having you guys in my lives, um, in my life. I should say, <laughs> or our lives being that it's also, you know, my husband and my daughter. So yeah. Um, from there, I guess I'll just move on to my knitting because that's all I have left. Uh, I 
have really been on a kick for knitting lately. I just, I want to sit on the couch and just knit, knit, knit. I think it's because it's taking up a lot less brain power for me because it's a it's a, a hobby that I've had since I was a small child. So it's one of those things where it's just easy. It's second nature to me. And um, I've been knitting hats for my husband, of course. <laughs> he, uh, he requested a marled kind of gray black one. So I knit him this one. I finished it last night. This is my pattern that I do have written up on Ravelry. It is in my Ravelry um, project pages. So if you go to my project pages, you'll see it says like simple beanie and it's like a flat lay photo of a couple of beanies that look just like this one. And that's the hat. Um, I'll put it on so you guys, it's a little wet still. And it's a little big for me because of course it's for my husband, but you know, it's just a basic simple, um, he obviously has a lot more head than me. <laughs> so for him that the top space gets kind of taken up but um yeah it's just like a double layered folded over brim and then the top here is a single layer of a fingering weight wool and i do a um like four four decreases till i get to a pinpoint and then i bind off really tightly when there's only a few stitches left yeah, I like the hats. They're really simple to make. Um, my husband loves them. He wears a hat that I make for him pretty much every single day. So that's why he has so many. <laughs> and I also finished a burgundy one for him, but I think I might have a picture of it so I can pop it on the screen. I finished that as well. And that was in the Cascade 220, just basic heritage yarn. Um, this one is a Tahit wool that I buy on Amazon. I will link it below. So if you're interested, you can go pick some up. But yeah, I'm liking that. From there, I have picked back up my, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's a Skein Deer Knits pattern, the Kosakofta, I think that's it. Um, and I don't remember where I was last time I showed you guys, but I have completed most of the body stitches. I'm just about to be where the arm separation is. So here is my knitting so far. I know what you're thinking. Um, that's a little big for you, Megan. I know. <laughs> I also don't really know what I was thinking. Um, I think that, that my husband might end up taking this because this will probably fit him and he might wear it outside at night when he goes <laughs> outside. But um, we'll see, I don't know. I love a good oversized comfy sweater as well. So this might be just a nice, you know, around the house sort of deal. But essentially the life stitch here is most of the body. Um, this panel down here actually gets folded under and sewn so that you, you don't actually have all this extra kind of like curling up <laughs> down here. Um, it'll curl less once I actually block it, but essentially that just adds like a little bit of weight so that the bottom stays nice and flat. And then up here I have like, maybe five more repeats until I add the steak stitches for the arms. So I'm not very far off, but I did, I know I completed this pattern motif, these two rows of motif, and then I've started this next motif as well. And this is a jacket. So that's why I'm like not so concerned about how oversized it is because it is a jacket. And I love those like shacket style shirt jackets. So it's like, I have a corduroy one. I have like a wool polyester blend one. I really enjoy that really oversized fit, maybe with a nice little, you know, turtleneck underneath or something that's more fitted, but I really enjoy that fit. So here's the front of the cardigan or the jacket. So I'll be cutting up this to steak it. But yeah, I really like it. It's just been really fun and I've been enjoying it lately. So I'm just more so doing what I enjoy right now. Um, less so putting the pressure on myself to like, oh, you have to get this stitching or like, you know, I'm not really putting that kind of pressure on myself right now. Um, and I am knitting that with some cones of wool. Let me get you the colorway name. So this is Whole Super Soft and the colorway Nougat. And then this is Whole Super Soft in just the black. Yeah, just plain black. So I'm holding it double. So I have two strands of the black, two strands of the nougat, and I'm stitching it um, or knitting it, I should say, with the call for needle size, which is like a US four, I wanna say. Let me double check. Yeah, a US four. And then like, for instance, when I knit my hats, I knit these usually on a US two, but I will say lately I have been feeling like 
I've been feeling like my gauge changed a bit. So I did go down to a 1.5 needle and I'm really liking the gauge of this. I just feel like the stitches look really, really uniform and nice and tight, but the fabric is not like, you know, super stiff or anything. It's still soft, but I, I don't know. I just, I felt like with my husband's hats, he always stretches them out so far because he does have a really large head <laughs> that I needed to like tighten up my stitches. And so I have been going down to the 1.5 needle and um, he did say that the last one I made him, the maroon one was a little bit tight, but after he wears it for a day, it's not tight anymore. So I think that this is my solution is going down to a 1.5 and I do really love the look of the stitches. So I think it looks nice. Nicer, I should say. Um, more like a store-bought beanie, I suppose, because the stitches are so small. Yeah. That hat, the burgundy one, I did knit my, uh, my little niece. Um, I knit her a matching hat with my daughter. I knit my daughter a lime green one. Knit the matching lime green one for her, but I already gave that one away and I didn't take a picture of it. <laughs> so that one's already off and probably being worn by her, hopefully. But yeah, that's about it. Um, super short video this time. That's kind of what I planned on just so that I can just go and sit down and relax the rest of the day until I have to pick up my daughter. It is a super gray day, very cloudy and raining here, but I love it. Um, I'll probably crack open my window and enjoy some fresh air and just relax the rest of the evening. But yeah, I just, I wanted to pop on here and show you guys what I have been working on and just say, you know, thank you so, so much for your guys' continued kindness and support and prayers. And, um, I just love you guys so much. Thank you for being here for me and being part of my little family, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I probably will be MIA until a while. <laughs> um, I don't know. It really will just It'll depend on how I feel after the baby is born, but it might mean that I don't post another video for a while. So if you do wanna just keep up with my life, then like I said, Instagram is the place to be. I'll of course continue stitching and continue filming videos whenever I can and whenever I can resume that I will, but I just don't wanna put like a set date on it because I really don't know when, when I'll have the mental capacity to start filming again after, after the baby's born. But yeah, I hope you guys can understand. <laughs> And um, I think that's everything. All right. Bye.